So we're back again, an amateur K1 fight in the uh, blue corner. We've got Chico, Jack Galt from Maya Bros MMA uh, in the, with the blue equipment and the, and, the, and the red tie shorts. In the red corner, we've got Barnaby Fanthorpe from Kings Muay Thai in the red and the black shorts, the red gear and the black shorts. A welterweight fight. Worth noting, Barnaby's only 19 years old, a young, a young lad. He looks slightly taller of the two. And he likes the straight punches. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they're pretty much mimicking each other um, in terms of their tactics so far. They even look quite similar as well, similar hairstyle yeah. as well. <laughs> it's um, Fanthorpe, though, Barnaby Fanthorpe, that has took the centre and is the one that seems to be pushing forward out of the two. Nice combination there. He's got. Wolf nice needs the body. He's the one that's backing uh, Jack Galt up against the cage. Nice combination. Oh, oh, he's dropped him. That's the first drop we've seen tonight in a K1 bout. I think that was the knee. It went straight down the middle. Let's see if he follows up with it now, though. Got the mandatory eight count. He's ready to go, and we're off again. Nice knee there. Big moment in the fight early on as well, because it's automatically now a 10-8 round, so you've got a, a two-point lead in the open round. Always got to be careful with that knee there. No knees to the head, of course. Yeah, I'm surprised Fenthorpe didn't rush forward and try and finish it. I mean, oh, that, oh, was, that, that was rocked big. him. That was big. He's, he's, he's landing heavy again. I think he just needs to keep pushing another knee. He's got to be careful with those knees, because they're going high. That looked like it was close to the face again, that knee. But he's landing some beautiful combinations there. Yeah, I think he just needs to keep the pressure on. He's getting through. Yeah, just keep throwing the straight punches and then the knees up the body. Knees up the middle, they are obviously having an impact. We've seen him drop with a knee and we've seen him get rocked with punches as well. Nice, jumps in there. Oh. Big end to the round, a big uppercut. And that's the end of the round. He looks very good. Great first round there for, uh, for Barnaby Thamford, the, the young kid, 19 years old. Land some heavy punches, got the, the take the knockdown with the with the, the knee to the body as well. Very good round. Yeah, Galt needs this time to try, kind of recover, blow the cobwebs out. Um, he did look a, uh, stunned on a couple of the shots towards the end there as well. But um, yeah, I mean, this is great. Two very good um, kickboxing gyms. You know, um, got Mir Brothers down in Brighton and Kings Muay Thai from Bath, and these these are very well known teams. Um, so we're seeing quality here, um, but yeah, I think it really Gold's going to have to turn it up now because, like you say, I mean that's going to be a, what a ten-eight round now. So yeah, ten-eight round with the knockdown automatically a ten-eight. So in, you know he needs to he needs to get a knockdown back really, or he needs to look, look for a finish because if he wins the next two rounds, all the best he can get is a draw if he doesn't get a knockdown. Uh, but it was a big, big way to start the fight for Barnaby Fanthorpe. Really impressive first round. Because obviously the, the knee dropped him, but he rocked him, like you say, with a few punches as well, where you could see that, that uh, Galt was dazed from, the, from what he was landing. Yeah, the little shell shot. Yeah, it's those, those combinations down the middle look really nice. The, the, the one-two there from, from Barnaby, he looks very good. Yeah, and I, think he, I don't think he needs to change anything, he, you know. He, the first round was the, the correct tactics. Yeah, the emphasis is on Galt to change it. He's the one that needs to change it back. He, but he needs to stop backing up and he needs to circle off the cage. He's letting himself be backed up. He's still in the fight, but he, he needs to start throwing back now. And it's almost like the shots he's thrown are not having an impact, where when he's getting caught, they are, they are having an impact. He needs to make Barnaby think about what he's doing. He needs to give him something back to think about so he's, not so, so he's more wary coming forward and landing the punches. At the minute, Barnaby's just walk into him because he's not. There's nothing phasing him at all. He'll just walk through what, what's being thrown. Exactly, and I mean, a jab can help with that. You know, you don't have to throw. Just something stiff, something that yeah. stiff that lands that makes Barnaby. Oh, I don't want to get caught by that again. Nice uppercut there for Barnaby. Nice body kick. Yeah, very impressed with Barnaby actually. He's 19 years old. He's, he's landing again. Nice combination. They've got to, they've got to clinch. They've got to let go now. The ref will break them up. Yeah, he's backing backing up a lot. Um, I don't think I don't think Galt's got the answer at the moment. 
No, Barnaby's... Oh, that was a nice one. Barnaby's doing whatever he wants, basically. There's nothing that's landing that's making Barnaby second-guess himself. He just walks through it. He walks through it and he lands. He walks through it and he lands. He looks, um, he looks the fresher of the two as well. I feel like oh. that's, that he's taking its toll on Holt now. He's looking to clinch because he's, he's, he's getting tired of getting caught. Yeah, he's, he's almost looking for a little bit of a rest. Yeah, he's getting tired, and I mean, there was a nice right hand there that he just got caught with. I mean, you, there's only so much of that you can take. I mean, he's very game. Don't get me wrong. Oh, absolutely. We're not questioning anything. That, we're not questioning him. You know, we, he's obviously here to, 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 to. He's come for the win. He's not here to make the numbers up. He just looks a little bit out of his depth for the minute. I mean, he's he's two rounds down, but with the knockdown, he's basically three rounds down with one round to go. He needs something spectacular in this round. He needs he needs a stoppage. But if you see a stoppage coming, it feels like it's going to be going to Barnaby. Barnaby's the one pushing forward. Barnaby's the one landing the, the straight punches. Uh, hasn't been as many knees in this round from Barnaby. And nothing that's really had its toll like in the first one. But again, it, we, we said it earlier on, it's the straight punch that's been the difference in these K1 fights. And it's definitely the difference in this fight again. He's landed some lovely combinations up against the cage with Barnaby. Yeah, and the thing, the thing with uh, Barnaby as well is it's not just that he's got really great combination work. He's actually quite hard to hit as well. Like, his defense has been very good. Mm. Let's see what Chico can do, because we're writing him like he's out of the fight at the minute, and he is, unless he does something drastic. He's got two minutes to change the way this fight's going. Let's see if it, what the corner of Drinham have, have inspired him. Yeah. Let's see if he can turn this he, round. He's definitely got to do something. He's backing up a lot. He needs to try and stand his ground and not back up a bit, really, and make it, make him pay for being walked into. And that was a nice knee to the body, and then, of course, they get separated with the clinch. That was nice. So we're getting a little bit back from Galt now. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, Galt. Galt's a little bit sharper, actually. He needs to stop clinching, though. I feel like he's clinching to get a rest. He needs to keep throwing the hands. He's not going to win this fight by clinching. Especially when he can only throw that one knee to the body. That was a nice, nice overhand right from Again. they. He's landed something now that's made him think. For the first time, I think, we've actually seen Barnaby back up. It's always been Barnaby coming forward, but he backed up after that right cross. Yeah, I mean, that, that right hand's working. He should use it more. Right, he's lead. Now he should, he's need. He should push away now and just land a combination rather than waiting for the ref to separate them. Because when he's jumps in like that, Barnaby's vulnerable. If he can step away and then throw a combination, he could, he could possibly land something. Ironically, this has been his best round. But it may be a little too late. He needs to, he needs to do something drastic to change the way this fight's going. I wonder if he's winding up. <laughs> I mean, he hasn't got much time left. But This is by far his best round. I'd like, to, I'd like to see two more rounds of this one because this really opened up in this round. It's been one way up to, for round one and two, but not in this round. It's, it's been very competitive. And yeah. Nice. He's landed some really nice shots as, uh, as, as Galt. It seems like he's got his second wind. And I know he's backing up, but he's, he's not taking that much damage when he's doing it. But he's landed some stuff which has made Barnaby think about it as well, which is what we needed to happen. Barnaby had nothing coming back that he was worried about. That's the, that was a good fight. Good performance there from Barnaby. I, I like the fact that Galt was no quitting him. He's yeah. He was two rounds down after being dropped. He's come back, possibly won the third round. But you can take a lot from that, the fact that he's hung on in and, and made that third round as competitive as what it, what it was. Because the first two rounds, I feel, were quite one-sided. But round three, definitely not. Yeah, I mean, he, yeah, he, 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 sh you know, he shouldn't be too down himself. Um, you know, that last round, he did come back. He just showed that he could come back, especially after getting hurt in the first round. And he actually looked really fresh in the third round, which, which was yeah. really good. So, yeah, there's definitely some conditioning um, that both these guys have. But, um, yeah, we're going to get the official word soon. Yeah, it was definitely his, it was best... It, was, it, it would have been interesting to see more rounds in that fight because it felt like the tide was possibly turning, but obviously it is yeah. a three-round fight. They both made that going in. He needed to do that in round two rather than leave it to round three. Yeah. But I felt like the difference in round three was he landed a shot which made Barnaby think. And Barnaby, there was a time in round three where Barnaby started to back up, which we didn't see that in the first two rounds. And um, our MC Ricky Wright now is entering the cage. We're going to get the official decision. We will hand this over to Ricky Wright.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. We have the bout 30-26, 29-27, and 30-26. All three in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. In the red corner, Barnaby Fan.